guys, Rap Ray here. Today we're back with some more of this game, Port to Call. This is a really good game. I love it so far. And there's a girl that she's standing right to the way. And pilot or the ship man has no idea. Hello, you're the first person I've seen on this ship who doesn't look dead, but your face is blurry. Why are you here? Okay. I could ask this some question. Excuse me, lady. I need your tea. I've waited here so long, I've forgotten the need to speak. I'm waiting for someone to board a ship, so I've been holding on to my ticket. I don't see a lighthouse over there. It's just another sunny day over the blue water. Everyone sees things differently on this ship. That's interesting. I've spoken with everyone I know on this ship. On this ship. They are innocent, doulish, and pissed. I can't even say English. <laughs> I, believe, I believe one is a shadow of the person I'm looking for. Are you talking about the black shoes on this ship? I mean, a shadow is more of this way. Those people that you cannot see are people you do not know. Oh! This person is someone I know, but he is not this. He is not his whole self. That is another question. I have some time to answer. Who are you? Who am I? I'm not sure who you are. You seem familiar, but I can't see you clearly. Okay, then. I, I see who is the shadow person. Yes. He is missing a large part of himself. Yes, 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 yes. The shadow feels like the impishment of nectivity. Yeah. His mask haunts me. Did the person help you remember who you are? I didn't speak to him for long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't have anything helpful to say. Mostly hurtful. Whoa, that's me. I could not see his face as he was wearing a mask like the others. By the way, I hope you guys, I don't know if, it's easy, I don't know if it says or not, you guys can actually see this a little bit better, because before I said on the wrong, uh, thing, so yeah. He does not sound very nice. I don't think I've met the guy. Yep. He is not very nice. Yes, I know this, I can tell. I don't think you would have. He's below the main deck in the boiler room. I imagine he does. He knows a lot, despite his sword. Show me how to go down. The elevator only goes up. If only I could. I can hardly move anymore. The mask weighs on me so. Okay. Goodness, what does the mask look like? I don't have a mask. You're different. You don't have a mask. You're different. Okay. There is another guard. There is nothing guarding your face, and you almost seem alive. I couldn't tell if I'm dead or alive. I think. Yeah. He was the one who waited with me in, this, in the hospital. I don't know how long I've been here, okay? But it seems like I'm more f familiar with this ship than any other place. Than, other, than any other... And, than any place else. There we go. And you don't get any answers? I don't know. Sometimes I think he is the one, but that could be... That can't be true. Really. I'm slipping. The mask is draining me. I guess uh, maybe he can help. No, he cannot help me. Find a boiler, man. I'm not going to last much longer, Marcus. Okay, so we found out who this girl is, and I think my name is Marcus. Okay, holy crap, lag. But anyway, I think my name is Marcus. I had nine frames, eleven frames, eight frames. Okay. Holy crap, lag. Find out who this so these people I do not know. Apparently, I thought I did. This little girl I know. The man upstairs. I don't know. So. Only I could find a way to like. Okay, I have my book of awesomeness. I'm stuck in the freaking wall. Anyway, I have my book of awesomeness here. So ugh. I gotta find out how to get the boiler room. Oh, I can now go down! Wow! Surprising, surprising! <laughs> I would have never guessed! 
Uh, do I have a chance to go back? I don't think I do. Yeah, these guys are different. So, I, um, before I do talk to this guy, I have, like, a thing. I want to show this right now. I was thinking about this. So, basically, what we found out so far is that those shadow-looking people are people that I do not know, or the character does not know. So, that means that I know the boiler man, I know the little girl, I know the drunk man, and I know the girl right over there. But, of course, the captain of the ship is not dead. Supposedly, he's alive, I think, anyway. I'm not sure. So I'm thinking, since the drunk man told the story, I think I'm the little girl's... I don't know, I don't know if I'm a girl or a boy, that's the problem. Oh my god, look, I, I am dead, because see, I can't catch on fire. Okay. It's just oh! At the end of, the, of his time, the man from the boy finally emerges. What? But he is a coward still, or will be. He will... Or will he face his worth? Will he let the sa sands trickle out? Or has the, he the courage to turn back to the hands of fate? Uh, what are you talking about? Do you, rec do you not recognize the reflection gleaming in the dark? Oh, oh okay, excellent. Tapped. All the guilt stares back at, the, at you from the abyss. What do you want from me? The little girl, the drunken man, and the lover that lingers still. The chain binds them all to me, and every link whimpers a name. Marcus. What do you mean? Just, uh, do you not recognize your dearly departed? Oh, see, look, I think my conclusion is coming true. Many ask for another minute, but few, few choose. Longer. A pity the high price of admittance concern. Are you saying I knew these people? Thought they've wrought in a hole for many a year. Tis still a wonder how quick your treasured memories wear. Add to the mix your names of arrivals before a delightful taste of copper and iron. Do you know how I got here? Did the man in the raincoat offer no explanations? Perhaps a small mercy be granted unto you. But no such composition will I bestow upon a cavern such as you, eh? The answer you sought, I give to you now. A shattered soul taken an edge, silken wisps brought about an end, okay? But is this the end of a, of a story, or the start of another? Most likely the former, as I see no hope from the later. later, later. Shadow soul sickness torture. With all the pieces before you, one might think a bit slow. It was your hand that slew you, yet not that long. That, yet not that long. And by your hand, the others also found themselves here. I didn't murder them. I'd never murder anyone. Noth nothing so crude, but in the end, just the same. So I murdered them? Oh my god! In case, can you just... Can you? Strong as an action. Knives are not needed to cause pain. So I was hear my fan, I can hear my fan too through my headphones. The sister, dead of neglect at age six. The father drowned in a cup with only his son to blame. And finally, the woman waiting for the man who never came, okay? Lily said she died stuck in the toys. Yes, I didn't know that. Of course, who else could he be? But was he a loving father or a former douchebag? Uh, I don't know what that said, but I'm a douchebag. I remember it now, but I don't. I know my dad loved me. While the truth that might be, 
there's a certain iron still. For the greatest beyond the child follows the father. Who once again offers the cup that killed him. Okay, so now I'm thinking that we were all such a family. This guy was probably the brother of the little girl. I'm a murderer, or I think I am anyway. I don't know, I wouldn't have given it to him otherwise. Maybe you should have. You still have questions, and I have answers. The sister dead of neglect at age six. The woman waiting for the man who never came. Lily said she died. So recall the whole story, Marcus, before you say that again. You were in charge of her. Something you... I can't speak! He sent. Had Big Brother watched her. As he promised he would, she would have been... She would have been dead in a coffin, taken too soon. Not all the sadder the lie that the teller believes. But in the end, you may... You may fool yourself, but you cannot deceive me. So let the weight of the truth crush you in underneath. You alone are, are responsible, guilty, and comfortable. You're right, I abandoned her. Yeah, yeah. One more quarrel I have with you before a result is reached. Result. I can't speak today. The woman waiting for the man who never came. I'm the, yes, the woman whom you once professed to love, now waits in the grave. Awash in the mischief, misqueef, misqueef, gah, of beyond. <laughs> you paid dearly to be able to see her again. Ignorant to the results, your actions would spawn. Alice. Oh wait, I'm supposed to be saying that. Though it started you in the face, though it stared you in the face, still you do not see. Flip a coin in the air and watch as it spins. One side shows you, the other side me. I'm everything you hate, all you regret. Woven, woven into one person, our greatest limits. Oh wait, so I'm so we're basically he's my dark side. I'm just me. You're me, and Alice was my wife. I remember now. Alas, it seems that we need for, that the need for me is done. Though do not believe what you have won. One more thing remind, remains for you before you reach the end. Go find the woman who speaks to her and leave nothing unsaid. Okay, this guy's talking. Whoa! Where's your ticket, bud? Phantom? Okay, so I've learned some stuff before I go on and continue. I've learned... So I am the brother of the little girl, and my dad is the drunk man. Uh, the woman is supposedly my wannabe wife. And as for me, I am like the brother of the little girl, which I left her on the Ted, which is why how she died. The dad killed himself, basically. Basically, I'm not saying he did, but basically he did. Okay, that's starting to get a little scary. Captain? Where's the captain at? Where? Wait, can I get off? Now I think this is the beginning of the scary part, you guys. Last episode wasn't so scary, but this one just might. Okay, there's some people down over here. I think they're missed. Yeah, that's the captain. Hey. It's you. I can see you now. Do you know who I am? The boiler man. Yes, Marcus. It's always been you. You found me. How did you come back? Everything went dark and then I heard a voice. It was you. You brought me back. Holy crap, my lover's here. But now you need to make a choice, Marcus. We're at a crossroad. Crossroad? This place is special. You saw it before I did. 
It's a jun junction between the world of the living and the life beyond. It's time to decide. What choice to have? You're special, Marcus. I hope you know that. I do. You're both part of this world and the world we both came from. But it can't be that way once you walk through one of these doors. I won't I won't hold anything against you. I love you. And now I will I'll I'll see you again. If you take the door closest to me, you will travel to a life beyond with everyone you've met on this ship. So wait a minute, so if I go to this one, I'm basically gonna be with all of them, my family basically. This one I guess I'm gonna be living, Captain. Well, the cat's out of the bag now, lady. There's no happy ending here. Now sailing off into the sunset. Have a choice to make and I don't envy you one bit. Now that if you choose this door to go back to the world of the living, there might not be any coming back here. I can't idle by the way, by the week for you forever. Next time you come back it might be a different ship. Or maybe it won't be a ship at all. I don't know. The afterlife is funny like that. Anyway, you have a choice. I can't sit here forever. Till you choose. Go on. Okay, so if I choose this one, I'm going to go back to live my life and be basically human again. If I choose this one, I'm going to be with her forever. I'm going to be with her forever. Now, for me anyway, for me, I think I am a man. I don't know why this guy over here says lady. God dang it, Ben! Sorry. <laughs> so if I choose this one, I'm going to go back to living, which I can possibly not know where I am or anything like that. I choose this one to be with my love and basically my entire family, and me, of course, again. So I'm going to go ahead and choose love instead of life, because, well, now I'm going to choose it. Life or love. Whoa, 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 Marcus? That's me, baby. I'm here. My name's Marcus. Did I finish the game already in just two episodes? This cannot be the end. Yes? I see white. My glasses are lighting up. I can't see anything. <laughs> I think there's something on my glasses. I can't see. Ugh. Am I awake? Oh, it's just dark screen. Yes! I did it, guys! Yes! So, uh, if you guys do want me to play more, then I will. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to go and do the other one, because I just don't feel like it. Because I have to replay the whole entire thing, because I accidentally screwed up before. Whenever I exit the game, so I had to restart, but, anyway. Hope you guys liked the video. Hope you guys had a nice day. Remember, don't be knockoffs. Love, guys. Bye bye. Maybe I want to see this real quick. Just for a minute. Okay, well, nothing. No Easter eggs. Bye bye.